Superintendent Walsh. Good evening, Mrs. Savage. Very sorry to call you like this without warning. Oh, well, that's quite all right. Uh, you know uh, Sergeant Beadle, I believe. Yes, good evening, Mrs. Savage. Yes, we had a long talk a few days ago. Yes, well, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm calling on you. Once again, this is not an official visit as such. I just thought perhaps you might be able to help us a little further in your professional capacity. What, um, what help do you think my wife could give you? Well, in a case like this, Mr. Savage, we are grateful for small mercies. And since your wife does appear to have powers beyond the ordinary, I'd like to make use of it. You already enjoy a very considerable reputation, Mr. Savage. Do I? Oh, yes, indeed. The news in our particular circle, if I may put it like that, may not travel widely, but it travels very surely. You want me to give you exact information about the little girl, is that it? Well, it doesn't have to be exact, Mrs. Savage. Just a clue, that's all we're looking for. And you want to have the seance now? If that's at all possible. Speaking as a policeman now, time isn't exactly on our side. Well, I uh, usually have a circle. Yes, but I thought we'd ask the Beadle here and Mr. Savage. Oh, my husband isn't a regular sitter. Oh, I don't think that matters. I'd like him to be on this one. Will you excuse me a moment? Do you suppose you can get the station on the car radio from here? Well, I can't say for certain, sir. You don't know? I'm not positive. But you think it's possible? Well, yes, but I couldn't say for sure, sir. Right, you wait outside. Uh, so sorry. Uh, right, Mrs. Savage, if you'll show us where. Yes. 